is one of my favorite type of problems. You're given two molecules and you have to actually tell me whether they're identical, whether they're constitutional isomers, enantiomers, or diastereomers. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to check if the two molecules are connected the same, if they have the same groups attached to each other. So I have an OH on both sides, an ethyl, a methyl, and a hydrogen on both. And since they're connected the same, now we can actually eliminate constitutional isomers. They're connected the same, so they're some sort of stereoisomers. They have one chiral center. So what I'm going to do now is assign R or S. So I'm going to assign the absolute stereochemistry. Oxygen, carbon, carbon, hydrogen. Oxygen has higher atomic number, so it gets number one. Carbon, carbon, versus just one carbon. This one gets number two. This one gets number three. And the hydrogen, which happens to be in the front, gets number four. All right, whenever the hydrogen is on the wedge, remember that we can actually assign stereochemistry without rotating the molecule. We just have to do the opposite trick, or I like to call it the opposite trick. I don't know what other people call it. One, two, three, one, two, three. You see my pen is going R, but the hydrogen is in the front. So it's the opposite of R. This molecule that I have on the left is the S chiral center. Let's see what this one is. We have the exact same groups, of course, so all I have to do is just transfer the numbers. Notice that I still have hydrogen in the front, so I'm going to have to use the trick to, for the final answer. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going counterclockwise, which is S. Oh, but the hydrogen is in the front or whatever number four is. So this is not S, this is the opposite of S. This is the R. All right, so I have the molecule that's on the left, it's the S enantiomer. The molecule that's on the right is the R enantiomer and the relationship between S and R, those two are enantiomers of each other. They're perfect mirror images and they're non-superposable, so they're enantiomers of each other. Let's do the exact same thing here. I have a chloride, an ethyl, a methyl on both, and a hydrogen, so they're connected the same. These are not constitutional isomers. So I'm going to assign the absolute stereochemistry. Chlorine gets number one. The ethyl gets number two on both, and the methyl gets number three. Number four is, once again, it's hydrogen. Hydrogen doesn't need to be number four. It just it, it tends to be number four in a lot of these examples. <clears throat> hydrogen is on the wet right here. I have to be very careful. So when I go one, one, two, three, one, two, three, I have to remember that this, this is R, but the hydrogen is in the front. So it's the opposite of R. This is the S enantiomer. What is this one right here? First of all, the hydrogen is in the back. So I do not need to use any tricks. I just have to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and that's it. So this one, this one is S. Now notice these two molecules have the exact same connectivity and they have the exact same chiral center. So these two right here are identical. It's the same molecule from two different points of view. So those two are identical. 